Hello, I am the Red Monk, and this is the solo boss guide to the Skull King. And he is a pretty tricky boss. He's like the sort of final boss. And he's a dude in armor, so you know, we're just gonna fight him as most dudes in armor. And a lot of his uh, attacks are really quick, they come you know, after each other very fast. So you just have to, you know, heal on this guy is kind of difficult because he punishes you pretty quick. And for dodging, you may, you mainly want to dodge into him, right? I mean, you're going to have to have a good dodge because you know, there's no way you're blocking this. So you either want to dodge left, right, or right into him. And that's crucial during the, like, last phases. You can get away with it towards the beginning. But uh, this attack right here, where he does the area of effect with like the red mist, he only do that. It's telegraphed by the red mist. That's the only attack you gotta dodge back because like he kind of does a double swing. So and if he swings from the right, if he puts it above his right shoulder and swings to the left, you want to roll to the right. You want to roll into the swing because you can get behind him pretty easy. You can get behind him pretty easy. But uh, I think he starts getting the streamers. Yeah, he, he gets progressively uh, bigger, like streams as he swings. And there's a short delay right after the swing that the stream will show up. So if you dodge back, you end up right into the stream. But uh, shoot. Dang, I did like 23,000 there. Holy shit, that's like a quarter of his health bar. I gotta get those combos. There's you to dodge into it. And his attacks are pretty, uh, especially with the streams, they're a lot, they're really generous with hit, to his side. They're pretty generous to his side. So, you know, even if you think you clear the attack, you'll, you'll still get like nicked into it by the stream, which is pretty annoying. And, you know, if you dodge back, you get caught in the stream. So, you know, always dodge left or right. And, you know, to heal, I didn't do it too much, but... Uh, changes and uh, phases is a good time to heal. In response to him fucking up is a good time to heal. Sort of like the Queen's Knight Reborn. You can actually dodge behind him in one dodge if you have the late enough armor, which is really helpful. Or the... Shadow walk ability, you can get behind him pretty easily. No, oh, there's those streamers I'm getting hit by because I didn't dodge forward. Healing's a lot more difficult, and it's really hard. Don't like stay far away from them because you'll get caught in the range of the streamers. Oh shit, there he is. That is not an easy boss. That is, this is tricky. That's true. And then, right after the boss, you'll get a ton of souls from killing him. Then the game will put you into the actual final boss. I mean, I think you can get out of the final boss if you, like, did some maneuvering. But you'll fight the, like, Virgin Reborn or something. So just missile root out of there. Use the missile root. <laughs> and if you get instantly killed like right there you can walk in pick up the souls that fell on the ground and you can walk right back out of the arena i'll pull it up right here because it it would be annoying to freaking lose all of your souls after fighting the freaking skull king that would suck but yeah just remember, you want to roll into that guy. You don't want to roll back. Only roll back if he's doing his area of effect. And don't, you know, overstay your welcome. It's pretty standard dude normal. But you can just grab the souls and walk right back out. Ha! <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching my video.